ruin your life and destroy your success. This is inspired by one of my mentees, one of my students on Facebook. I was reading a video that he uploads and was talking about this particular thing. And I thought it would be a very good lesson to share with you. He was saying that I was, I was teaching the class within High Ticket Closer that he's got this little voice in the back of his head saying the first three words, which is, I know that. I know that. That you know what? I think I've heard of this before, or or I know that. Well, how do you know when you know something? Let me tell you this: if you don't live it, you don't know it. You might have read it, you might have seen it, you might have talked about it, but you don't fucking know it. You see, most people they let the ego get in the way of success. It's very easy. You notice people say, "I, I know that. I know that. I know that." Well, you don't know shit. You do not know it. How do you know when you know something? If you don't live it, you don't know it. So those three words are very, very dangerous, and they destroy your potential. They destroy your success. Why? Because the minute you say, "I know that," your brain shuts down. You're not listening anymore, and you're like, "Okay, I know that. I don't. I don't need to listen any further." You're not paying attention. So what? You know it. So fucking what? That you know it. It's not about knowing it. I could tell you this. I am not an original thinker. Let me just tell it to the whole world. I am not an original thinker. There's nothing new about what I do. Everything I learned from Napoleon Hill, other successful entrepreneurs, think and grow rich,、uh, proven masters from the past, my mentors. There is absolutely nothing new about what I say and about what I do. I am a synthesizer. I take different ideas, I put it together. The only difference between me and everybody else is I don't say I know that. What do I say? I say I use that. I use that. That's a. Those three words are much more powerful than say I know that, because when I use it. I own it. It is mine. I instead of everybody else, they're thinking of the ideas, they're learning about it. I know that. I know that. I know that. No, you know what? I ask, how can I use that? How can I use that? How can I use that? I implement. The only difference between me and everybody else, I can execute it better than most people. I use it better than most people. That's the only difference. Instead of you just watching a video, you watch fifty, hundred videos. You don't use shit. I can use one video. I can read one book. I can take ideas and I can implement, execute immediately, and、I、execute fucking well. That's the only difference. The first three dangerous words. I know that. The other four words that are very, very dangerous. They'll ruin your life. Is I can't afford it. How many said that to yourself? How many said that maybe just yesterday? Maybe just today? Comment below. I can't afford it. Now this I learned from Kiyosaki. Again, nothing new. He talks about when people say I can't afford it. Again, it shuts down your brain. This, there is no creativity required when you say, "I can't afford it." You want something in your life? I can't afford it. I want to buy that car. I can't afford it. I want to support my my parents. I can't afford it. I want to take that vacation. I can't afford it. I want to send my kids to college. I can't afford it. You see how it is? I can't afford a quarter. I can't afford it. It is an easy way out because you're just making an excuse. So、oh, I can't afford it. It requires no effort. That's a poor person's mentality, and you know that's poor people say that. Look, I can't afford it. What you think money grows on trees? How many heard that before? Comment below. Instead of saying I can't afford it, ask yourself a powerful question, and that is, how can I afford it? How can I afford it? The minute you ask that, it opens up a world of possibility. The minute you change your vocabulary, instead of a statement, a victim statement. I can't afford it, huh? Stop. How can I afford it? Maybe I can't afford it with my current job. Maybe I can't afford it with the way that I'm conducting business. But how can I afford it? What do I need to do? What what knowledge do I need to acquire? Who do I have to be? What new skill sets I need to develop in order for me to afford this? Do you see how those questions are much more powerful, much more empowering? Wouldn't you say? So how can I afford it? Or a higher level question that I like to ask is, how can I make it make me money? 
how can I make it make me money? So imagine this. I show up to your house. I have a brand new Ferrari. I park it right in front of your door. And it say the Ferrari costs $200,000. I say to you, you know what? I can sell you this Ferrari. Here's a key for $100,000. It's worth 200 dollars I'm going to sell it for 100 dollars I don't have the money right now. I don't like Ferrari. I don't like red. Poor person's mentality. A rich person would say, cool. I'll buy it. Comment below if you will buy it. Be honest. Even though it doesn't matter if I like Ferrari, I don't like Ferrari, it's not the point. It's how can I make it make me money? So maybe I, I don't like Ferrari. I'll buy it. The minute I buy it, I'm going to flip it. Or even if I don't have the capital right now, I will tie up the deal. Sign the deal first and it gives me three, four days. And then I will flip the car and make a profit. Maybe I sell it for 120k, 150k. I pocket 20k and 50k profit. I can take the 50k profit and go do something else to learn more skills, to make another investment, whatever it is I want to do. It is not about the thing, it is about how you use the thing. It's about how you deal with the situation. You see how you have the preconceived idea, I don't like red, I don't like Ferrari, I don't have the money, that's all. That's how you think. And how you do anything is how you do everything. It's your mentality that keeps you broke. It's this exact seven words that ruin your life and preventing you from going to the next level and preventing you to achieve more success. So do not use those words. Change your vocabularies and ask yourself powerful and empowering questions every single day.